Criminal Defense Attorney Russell Wilson has been following this case. Good morning to you. Good morning, Brandon. All right, so first of all, was the guilty verdict on the lesser charge of manslaughter what you expected? Uh, you know, it wasn't a surprise that he was found guilty on the lesser charge. Uh, I think, you know, this is a one-shot case, and, and meaning that there was only one shot fired. Uh, the amount of time between the command and the shot being fired. Uh, and then there was also this issue regarding whether or not his hand was, his finger was on the trigger or uh, in the bladed position above the trigger. So the verdict's not necessarily surprising now. Yeah, and, and you know, it, it, the not convicting me on murder, that, that means that the jury didn't believe that he intended to kill her. And you, you mentioned these couple pieces of, of uh, evidence there. Do you think any one of those was maybe key in the jury's decision? You, you know, it's always, you never know, but I think certainly those are ones that would seem to stand out that would support uh, a finding that his conduct was reckless. Uh, and so, you know, again, one shot was your finger on the trigger and maybe something startled you, what you saw, you know, what did you exactly see? And so I don't know that jurors completely believed his testimony or the testimony of the defense experts. And that's what jurors do. They try to uh, put together what they believe happened. Uh, and so certainly, you know, it, it makes sense based off the evidence that we've seen. Okay, so they obviously heard from Aaron Dean. If you can, maybe compare the testimony of him compared to the nephew. What, what was the value of either of those? Uh, you know, how did that weigh toward the jury's decision? Well, you, you know, the nephew at eight years old and having no real reason to make a false statement at all, I think, you know, provides what we would generally say is the most credible account. Uh, Mr. Dean, when he was being cross-examined, uh, conceded a number of things that prior to the shooting that he was doing that most people would say that he should not have done, uh, whether or not it was going into the backyard or covering yourself correctly. And that set up the situation or brought about the encounter in the way that it occurred. And so I think that those things, you know, were, were damaging for him. When you Think of the nephew's testimony. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He's there uh, with Miss Jefferson, and there's a startling noise in the backyard. So I don't know if there was a huge contrast, you know, as to whether or not she pointed the gun at him or had it by her side. You know, I think the focus really was the amount of time between the command and the shot is so, so quick uh, that regardless of what happened, um, pointed or not, there was no time to comply. Okay, so now we move on to the sentencing phase. He faces anywhere from two to 20 years in prison. Do the facts of this case weigh more toward a lighter sentence or a heavier sentence? Um, you know, maybe a sentence in the middle of that range. Uh, killing somebody in their home who's not doing anything wrong certainly would seem to be the type of conduct that would draw a very high sentence. Uh, but on the other hand, a person who's never been in trouble before employed themselves in a capacity to serve the community would tend to be what we would call mitigation evidence. And so, you know, jurors are going to have to weigh that. They have to consider who uh, Aaron Dean is as a person and who Miss Jefferson was as a person. And so they have a difficult task ahead of them. Right. And you've been part of the sentencing process of a trial many times. I mean, it's different, very different from the actual trial. Yeah, no, there's a, a lot more latitude in what can be introduced in evidence. Certainly if the prosecution has other bad conduct of Mr. Dean, they can bring that in. Uh, you don't really expect to see any attacking of a victim, but sometimes that can happen. Um, I would expect Mr. Dean's side to try to bring out other good deeds that he's done uh, and Miss Jefferson or the state to bring in, again, just the magnitude of the loss of losing your life in the manner that she was. Uh, you know, she wasn't doing anything wrong. She's there with her nephew, something that many people, I think, could identify with. All right. All right. Well, we will be watching it closely. Criminal defense attorney Russell Wilson, we appreciate your time right. this morning. Thanks. Thank